Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. Today's magic trick is going to be very quick because I've got a lot of great information to share with you today. Next time you go out to dinner and you want to magically produce the tip from thin air, just reach down, pick up a paper napkin, open it up, lay it on top of your hand, reach into the paper napkin and produce the tip. Today we had a great dinner, a lot of good surface, service, so I'm leaving a million dollar tip. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Hi, welcome to Pulp Fiction Part 7. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers and today's fiction is Endodontics is nothing more than a space maintainer for an implant. Now, personally, I don't know about you, but I would always rather keep my own natural tooth if possible. Even though implants have a very high success rate, we don't want to just routinely stop doing endo. And today we want to examine the evolution of top-down implant placement. And what that means is we control the exact position of the implant by figuring out in advance exactly where the restoration is going to go and making the implant absolutely fit that. The new top-down placement of implants has allowed us to place them much more precisely than ever before and we can do a much better job of implant placement. So first off, let's look at why we would want to even place implants in our practice. Number one, placing implants is a great way to differentiate your practice. You can enhance your professional credibility in the community and drastically improve your uh, per hour revenue and your profits. You avoid destroying tooth structure on adjacent healthy teeth and it's very easy to do implant placement using cone beam guided technology. And mainly patients are coming to your office asking for this service. Now does anyone like surprises when it comes to implant placement? Absolutely not. We want to make sure that the implants are exactly where they need to be and not uh, at an off angle like this. And this is something that happens way more often than we would like to think. And the other thing is, who should control the placement of these implants? The answer is really simple. The person who is going to restore the implant needs to be the one who places the implant. And even if you don't want to do implant placement yourself, you should be controlling where the implants go and you need to establish a good working relationship with the specialist who places your implants. So how do we control the exact placement of our implants? It's actually very, very simple. With the new technology available today, cone beam guided technology allows us to use high-tech information placed into software and control exactly where these implants go. And I'm going to show you how that works right now using a product called Co-Diagnostic Software. You can get code diagnostic software online with a 30-day free trial if you just go to Google and search for code diagnostic software. And then there are eight simple steps to allow you to place implants easily in any practice. Step one is to take an impression of the area you're going to work with. This is actually one of the most important parts of the entire process because we're dependent on a surgical stent that has to fit precisely over the area where you're going to place the implants. You want a very, very good impression. So if there's somebody in your office that takes better impressions than you do, by all means, let them do it. Step two, you create a scanning appliance. And the scanning appliance is then fitted into the mouth. That's step number three. And you'll note that the scanning appliance has these three little pins, one, two, and one more at the bottom. These pins orient the position of the scanning appliance. So it's very important that you make sure they're precisely placed. Step four, you do the scan. Once the scanning appliance is placed firmly on the teeth, you do a CT scan. Now you can 
have any hospital or any place with a good radiology department do the CT scan. You could buy your own cone beam technology or in some areas it's even possible to get a mobile unit that will come actually to your office and do the scan for you. Step five, the information from the CT scan is converted into co-diagnostic software and that is placed into the software itself. The co-diagnostic software reads where the little pins were on the scanning appliance and helps you exactly position where your uh, implant's going to go. One of the things I like about the co-diagnostic software, other than its low price, is the fact that it has many, many implants already in the database, and if your implant's not in there, the company will place it in there for you. So it's very easy to get uh, any, whatever implant you want to use, you can change implants and still use the same software. The splint actually has a rendition of where, exactly where the restoration is going to go, so you can place the uh, implant exactly in the right alignment. Once you verify the placement of the implant, step seven is to take the surgical drilling uh, plate, and here's an example of one for a full arch. Uh, where no teeth are there, but most of the time you'll have one that fits over the teeth. Then you simply drill through those little metal guides and place the implant. And step eight is the surgical drilling and placement of the implant. There are little plastic inserts that go in the guide area which allows you to use all of the different drills, the pilot drill followed by the sizing drills, and then the implant is placed. And even in very tight areas as we see right over here, it's easy to position the implant exactly where it needs to go. So even if you haven't been placing implants, this just might be the perfect time to start. Incidentally, if you have any questions, please send me an email at kit.weathers at gmail.com. Or if you would just like to maybe suggest some topics for future Root Tips of the Week. Or if you have an invention and you would like some help on research and development and marketing of that invention, send me an email about that as well. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Endo Root Camp.